after a highly anticipated rate cut by the feds, what is the actual economic relief reality of a 50 basis point drop that we got in the interest rates? Now, as most of you know, last month's interest rate cut was supposed to be the beginning of a new era. The Federal Reserve, after battling inflation for two years, even claimed the victory of this rate cut, and they were suggestive also that more rates were actually coming along the way. And I find that also a lot of buyers were actually waiting for this. Now, you would also think that this would mean lower borrowing costs for everyone, right? Well, according to the Business Insider's Jennifer Soar, the relief many were hoping for isn't really materializing. We gotta find out, and we're gonna find out why in this video right now. What's going on, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Eric Haas with Vista Sotheby's International Realty, and I'm here to assist you in all things real estate here on the west side of Los Angeles, whether you are buying, selling, or investing. Now, if you are joining me for the very first time, I've been doing this for a little bit of time, 20 years now, and I'm all about delivering truth about our real estate market here on the west side, so you as a buyer or seller can be completely prepared and ready to dominate the competition no matter what market we face. Now, before we jump into these housing trends and tips to win, please smash that subscription button, give the video a like, and drop a comment if you have any questions or if you came across something you didn't know. Now, grab that pen and paper. We're jumping into it right now. All right, guys, I'm gonna break this down into two parts. In part one, we're getting into why are borrowing costs still so doggone high after we finally just had our interest rate cut just one month ago? Well, first and foremost, it wasn't like the cuts were gonna provide immediate relief. It takes some time for it to trickle down to us consumers. But the very unfortunate thing about the cut was the fact that the Fed completely telegraphed it and the market already started pricing it in before it even happened. Now, I get the market is adjusting, but borrowing rates are still ridiculous high to the point where even the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate has gone back up 47 basis points since the Fed cut rates. The Fed cut rates by 50 basis points. It already went up 47 again. That's three basis points below where it was. How is that helping? How does the Fed literally cut rates and follow it up with borrowing costs going up? For that, my friends, you got to thank the 10-year Treasury yield, which happens to be a key benchmark used by, yeah, you guessed it, the lenders. It also happened to go up this week by 4% for the first time since August. Not so great. Now, why is there such a discrepancy between the Fed and the Treasury yield? Well, got to point out the fact that the Fed's rate is focused on more of a short term, while the 10-year Treasury, as the name says, reflects a long-term view. Now, in the short term, the 10-year bond yield can diverge radically from the Fed's benchmark rate. Now, as we get into part two, what does this all mean for the economy as a whole? Well, big picture, it's actually not as bad as it sounds. It's, it's a good thing. With stellar jobs reports coming in, investors are having a very positive view of the economy's future. However, a huge downside is that buyers shouldn't expect a slew of rate cuts as investors were banking on anytime soon. Now, while I'm sure you're, a lot of us are out there thinking, hey, you know, when am I gonna have the opportunity or be able to be in a position to be a buyer of a house? Well, there is a positive side. And that positive side is that there has been a 34% year over year increase in the number of active listings for sale in September. And this is no different here in Mar Vista and on the west side. Now, Mar Vista in particular has had an 80% increase in the number of homes for sale since this time last year. We were up to 81 homes for sale, a number we haven't seen since COVID days. Now, more inventory obviously means more competition amongst sellers, finding our buyers now in the position of leverage as homes are sitting longer and requiring price drops, rather large ones to be honest, to get under contract. Now, this puts you in a prime position, buyers, and I get the rate may not be exactly where you want it to be, but you are going to be in a position right now with the higher inventory to be able to leverage a price that you wanna pay and not in multiples, get concessions and credits to reducing your price, and then buying it where you have the ability to refinance in the future. Now, my friends, if you have any questions whatsoever, please share them below, as I have no problem whatsoever helping you out with anything that is coming across your mind as a result of this video. Hope you have a great one, and we'll see you on the next one.